Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning. Been meaning to do this for a while now, but see how today goes. Me and my friend, we're at uh, Lake Berryessa. It's uh, June 14th, I think, 15th. I don't know, it's gonna be a hot one. Uh, so we come here, it's our normal area. It's a lot of shoreline. So today, I'm gonna be using a spinning reel. 10 pound fluorocarbon tied onto a shaky head, little plastic crawl. It's my go to, it's usually what I start out with. Usually does pretty well. All right, well, hope today's video goes well. If I don't catch any fish, then you probably guys won't even see this. All right, well, if you guys have any questions, let me know. <laughs> Small guy. Close, huh? Yeah, super close. All right, first one of the day. Little baby. Took both claws. Jerk. Both claws. Yep. Oh. Hit it. You hit it. Came, hit it, swam towards me. It went limp. Yep. I see it. This one. Oh! 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 <laughs> Get back for it, too. Oh, my God. All right, so we got one so far. I'm gonna walk a little bit farther down this path. Friends ahead of me. So the reason we come here a lot, is uh, got a good selection of bass. There's a small mouth, large mouth, spotted bass. It's also rainbow trout, kookanee, landlocked salmon. There's a uh, crappy, pike minnows. It's carp, big catfish. And any given day, you probably catch one of those. I've caught an 18 pound carp last week by mistake. A couple years ago, I caught a 25 pound catfish, all from the shore. And the reason why we like this, man, there's a lot of shoreline here. 
I've been fishing here 10 plus years and today we came to a spot that we have never fished before so it's a good lake if you guys want to try it out clear water you can swim in it we're probably gonna swim in this thing later hopefully fishing picks up a little bit I only caught that one dink earlier but not giving up so I'll keep on trying all right Talk to you soon. There's one. Solid ass one. Where's that cat at? Oh, I see it. So, saying there's big catfish out here. Look at that thing. That was a big cat. Probably 10, 15 pounds. Pretty stinky. Sorry, bud. All right, walking along, another dead fish. It's a carp, about five, five pounder. What's that? A what? Yeah. Trolling. I had to crawl, right? Uh -huh. I was fishing on that point and I was like, dude, so it feels fucking heavy. And I started fishing, so I started and it was like a hell of dragon, right? Uh -huh. Spot it up. The clam was clenched around the fucking crawl. Small one? Yeah, small one, not that big. And then when I came up, fucking it opened up and it let go. It was still alive. Yeah, I've never seen one of these alive here. Yeah, that fucking thing clamped on my uh Bunch of them. I've gotten those little yellow ones stuck on my hook before. Oh yeah, there's clams here, there's freshwater otters, there's turtles, frogs. Oh yeah, snakes. If you come here alone, don't walk in that by yourself. Or just be wary where you're stepping because yeah we've seen snakes maybe a mountain lion or two <laughs> a couple deers uh pigs what else is here this is a lot of different wildlife here ticks i've gotten a tick or two here unfortunately but I think rattlesnakes are what you want to look out for the most, especially during these summer months. Because we've seen them small and we've seen them big. So just be watching where you're stepping. Maybe don't shoot a video while you're walking. <laughs> or just keep your ears out because you'll hear them rattle sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you won't either, so just watch where you step.
Got him. Gotta be quicker than that. Boom, fast. Skinny. This gotta be the same guy. Fucking thank you. Goodness. Thank you for saving my day. It's still early. See ya. Smallmouth. Stop it. Hey. Oh my god. Little small mouth. Feisty. See ya. Looks like he was spawning or something. His fins are kind of red. Huh? Looks like he was making a bed or something. His fins are both red. Cinco! Coming off a rock. Smacked it after I, I was hung up on a rock. Not bad. Still skinny. See ya. Switched up to the Senko. A little chartreuse and dark green, I guess. Three sixteenth ounce shaky head.
<laughs> yep. Senko. Yeah. Oh man, he swallowed it. It's a back to back cast. Oh man, he swallowed that thing. Choked it. Maybe. Yeah. All right, be right back. See you, bud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's all right. You're all right. Come on. Come on. Yep. I don't know if he's going to make it. Just need a breather. Oh, man. On your hook. That's his stomach. That's not his gills. Oh, yeah, it's his stomach. Well, wasn't planning on keeping any fish today. Oh, is that a four -incher? The Senko? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Swim, buddy. You're just tired. Why'd you swallow it? Well, wasn't planning on keeping fish, but might have to. Normally I never keep them. Sorry, but looks like you're coming home. All right, on the way out. Yeah. Pretty rough day. We've done worse, but we've done better, so I'll take it. Any day on the lake is a good day for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead, comment your favorite bass lure to use. Also, probably picking up a bass boat here in the couple, next couple of weeks. So go ahead, comment your favorite lure to use from a bass boat. It might help me out down the road. Uh, thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for some more videos. We go fishing probably once, once a week or once every other week. Always looking for new water to try. So comment your favorite lake as well. And we'll get out there and try it. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.